Good morning. This is morning day three of our adventure. We're still in Young Guy because we were staying here for three nights. And when we came over to Young Guy, we wanted to look for the green headed hill star and we couldn't find it because it was way too cloudy. We would never even be able to look for it. So today we're going to look for this bird in a different area. So let's go. breathing a little hard. We're at 15,000 feet here, still looking for the hill star. We're actually going to go a little higher. Whee! It's been a long morning. We spent all morning looking for the green-headed hill star. So far, we still have had no luck. We've gone to different elevations, we've seen other hummingbirds, but it's the hill star that I really want to photograph. So we still have another chance and we'll keep looking. William did take drone footage of the area because this area is just beautiful and I hope you'll enjoy that. And now um, we will still be looking later, but we're having a lunch break and we have a whole little camp set up here and Betty's cooking us lunch. And if yesterday's lunch is anything to uh, think what we're gonna get today, this is like roadside five-star restaurant. Unbelievable, but I love this. Today, it looks like we had lentils, rice, we've got broccoli vegetables, and a beautiful, beautiful cuts of meat. We continued to look all afternoon, but we had no luck finding our target bird. Good morning, wake up everyone. It's five o'clock in the morning and we're getting an early start. We haven't yet found the green headed hill star, so we're getting an early start to get up there and it's gonna take three hours, but hopefully today we're gonna to be able to find this lovely bird for you. We're back in the Ancash region and we are looking for the green-headed hill star. You know, the hill stars, there are three that have green gorgets. Um, we presented the black-breasted hill star that we found in Peru early last year. And that is a beautiful, beautiful bird. And more recently in Bolivia, we found the Andean hill star in the beautiful area of La Paz called Valle de las Animas. And here is where the third one that we don't have yet is. And this is the green-headed hill star. These were originally considered to be one species, but they've been separated into the three. And this is the one we need. So we're going to look for him here today. The bird appeared this morning when the sun was coming up and William got good video of it, but by the time we got to a place where I could photograph it, it was gone. We stood there for hours trying to get it and it just never came back to that place. So this is a good location. We know the bird comes here very, very early in the morning. So we're gonna try again a little more this afternoon. Maybe this bird only likes sunrise and sunset. We'll see. Ooh, and here's Betty's excellent lunch for today. Check this out. Wow. Hard to believe she can cook this with a little gas stove back there. And at this altitude, it's so difficult to cook. We are at 14,000 feet. 
It was very frustrating that after two days of looking for it, we could not find this bird to get a good photograph. But we always came back to the lodge and found our old friend, the spot-throated hummingbird, here to greet us. We're back in Ankash by the same set of rocks that we were yesterday where we saw the green-headed hill star. Um, we came earlier today because it was very early when we saw it. We did spot a couple of them, but we haven't been able to to really get a lock on them to get a picture, so we're still trying. We've been here all morning. We stayed at the first place where we saw the bird yesterday for a few hours and didn't find it. And then William climbed up this hill and he found a female nesting on a rock. So we all climbed up here and we have beautiful pictures for you of her and a male. Woohoo! The green-headed hill star is found in the high Andes of Peru and extreme southern Ecuador. It saves energy in the oxygen-poor environment by sitting still on rocks for long periods of time. It's not endangered because it favors habitat unsuitable for agriculture. Although the bird is allegedly common, trust me, they are not that easy to find. The bird has a bronzy green head and back with a fine black line down the abdomen. The male has a brilliant green gorget with a black line separating the throat from the white upper belly. It has a short bill and a beautiful blue and white tail. feel like they did coming down from the helmet crest hike, like I'm going to lose a toenail. <laughs> 